Listen, why do we pray for speed? Most of you, listen, you must understand. Now here, I want you to help the ushers. There are thousands of people and there's only so much the ushers can do, all right? So, um, especially if you are a worker in this ministry, once it's time, please help the ushers. There's only so much they can do. I promise that I was going to work with time. Do you know why I release the grace for speed? Because I have discovered, listen to me, there are two systems of advantage as far as dominion over time is concerned. Number one is restoration. Number two is speed. These are the twin forces that help men to catch up in destiny. For some of you, many things have left you behind. But I want to release that grace. And when I, please, I want you to help them because people will start running. And so I want you to help them. I stretch my hands. By the mantle of the apostolic and the prophetic, I decree and declare for every destiny that has been grounded, I introduce to your life right now the grace for speed. Release, receive it right now. Speed, 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 speed. Receive that grace. Speed, shabakatabakatos. Speed. I command it. I declare it. I decree it over your life. Man of God, speed, businessman, speed, Elijah, receive speed in the name of Jesus Christ. Okay, so I'm going to pray right now and I want you to bring all the people who the anointing of the spirit comes upon. The Lord is revealing to me that there are people right now and this is a prophetic word for those people please hear me I'm hearing the mantle of a restorer these people it's not just restoration that is happening to you there is a mantle coming on you to go and be a restorer in your family I release that grace now in the name of Jesus bring them the mantle of a restorer no matter where you are under the influence of this anointing please bring them very quickly let's save time the mantle of a restorer you came to church and you did not know that destiny brought you here because there is there is an assignment that is connected to you and that fire that grace go and restore Go and restore. He said they are taken for a prey and none say it restore. Please help the ushers. Their hands may be full. If there's any anyone on there, they're anointing close to you. You don't have to wait for the ushers. Just help them so that we bring them in front very quickly. The mantle of the restorer is falling on someone. You may be a man of God. You may be a prophet. I don't know why God is starting with an impartation. But again, I release that grace. I release that grace in the name of Jesus Christ. Go and restore. There are destinies at the mercy of your grace. Go and restore. Go and restore. Go and restore. Some of you, it may be your loved ones. Some of you, it may be the people in your company. Don't allow witchcraft to keep destroying people. Whereas God has mandated that you will rise, I decree and declare once again, may that grace locate you, the mantle of a restorer, the mantle of a restorer. You may be a man of God and you came here. God brought you here to lift you. In the name of Jesus Christ, obtain that grace. Hallelujah. Hear me. I'm sensing that the direction God is moving us tonight, there are people God is isolating. I'm hearing the word chosen. Like you have been selected among the crowd in many some of you in your family out of 10 people i'm hearing that word chosen bring them out chosen it's like there is a mantle that is selecting people for assignments strategic prophetic assignments bring them out please 
chosen this is what i'm hearing in my spirit chosen chosen predestined chosen oh you have been chosen you may not look like it but there is a, a grace upon you bring them out I'm saying it again. You may not look like it, but you have been chosen. That mantle is looking for you. That mantle is looking for you. Male and female. Apostle, I may not be educated. You are still chosen. In the name of Jesus Christ. Chosen. Bring them out. Chosen by the Spirit of God, chosen by the Spirit of grace, chosen. He told Jeremiah, Do not say I am a child, but everywhere I shall send you to, you shall go, and to whoever I shall instruct you. You will say that which I've asked you to say. I'm declaring by the Spirit. That mantle is still looking for people. You are chosen. You are chosen. Chosen by the Spirit of God. Out of your family members. Out of different people. You may not look like it, but the grace is still on you. The Bible says you are a chosen generation it calls you a royal priesthood it says you are a holy nation a peculiar people mandated to show forth the praises is the word doxazo of him who has called you out of darkness into his marvelous light into his marvelous light I'm seeing the number four and i'm hearing is an impartation for the prophetic the eyes of the seer four just four people i'm seeing that mantle is coming on you right now the eyes help them please my god the eyes of the seer i activate that prophetic may that mantle rest upon you the eyes of the seer authentic manifestation of the prophetic I set you on fire. I ignite your sight in the spirit. The number four, the prophetic. Probably someone came here to receive that grace. You came here crying for that manifestation. You need it for your life and ministry. I declare over you, may that grace rest upon you now. May that grace rest upon you now. Please don't be distracted. God is moving in the midst of his people. The prophetic, the prophetic, men and women together, men and women together. Some of you, this thing came, is, is even in your lineage, your physical lineage, but you are yet to carry that mantle. I release that grace, I release that grace. It comes upon you right now. Hallelujah. I'm hearing someone with the name favor. The Lord is saying it's time for your name to start speaking in your life. I don't know who that person is. Your name is favor. I'm declaring who is favor in the name of Jesus. Every shame and every reproach and everything 
that is not of God I'm hearing the name favor and the Lord is saying it's time for your name to start speaking in your life I prophesy over you in the name of Jesus Christ please make sure that this prophecy is for you don't just come out carelessly I stretch my hands right now the anointing that releases the grace upon your name receive it right now receive it right now receive it right now let favor follow you in the morning favor in the afternoon favor in the night favor i release that grace upon you in the name of jesus christ I'm hearing a prophetic word and God is speaking to someone I would not say things like that except God to told me your destiny is in the United Kingdom I don't know who that person is but this is what God is saying your destiny is in the United your destiny is in the United Kingdom just help them it may not be easy but please just manage them your destiny is in the United Kingdom I, I don't know who that person is but I'm speaking by the prophetic how you will get there you may not know but I call upon the God of Jeshurun since he has spoken I place grace upon your life and I move you by prophecy locate destiny locate destiny locate destiny right now listen listen I use this prophetic word as a point of contact anyone who is currently in a place that is not your assigned place of destiny I relocate you to your place of destiny I relocate you to your place of destiny I'm saying it again there may be a man of God the reason why you are not succeeding is you are not in the place assigned I relocate you to your place assigned there is a location for every mantle and Isaac sowed in that land not any land that land there are lands when you sow into you go down he said Abraham come out of your father's house and out of your kindred to a land that I will show you and in the obedience of your advancement I will make you a great nation I will make your name great there are many people the reason why you are grounded is because you are not discerning and hear me there are many people abroad whose destinies are not abroad they are suffering and wasting time greener pasture is not in a physical location greener pasture is in the voice of God anybody wrongly located across the globe I take you back to your place of destiny Can we release the grace for speed? done in my life receive it I also received it you're a man of God here yeah, receive it don't let pride allow you to suffer for nothing you are following online whether you're a man of God with all due respect receive it add that grace to your ministry and watch what it becomes add that grace to your business add that grace to your finances Yeshua, Hamashia, Komina Nakane. Yeshua, Hamashia, 
in the name of Jesus I pray for anyone here you have struggled with prayer is something you can't tell anyone but every time you go to pray you are sleeping you are snoring you watch people pray generating power but the truth is that that grace is not yet on your life I pray for you right now in the name of Jesus genuine authentic grace for prayer let it rest on you now let it rest on you now pastor let it rest on you now businessman let it rest on you now the grace to wake up and pray pray yourself to greatness I release that grace upon you now number two laziness over the study of scripture there is no book you have brought that you've been able to read you've not been able to read one book of the Bible you are a sincere Christian it's been a struggle it's not by trying once that grace is not there you will struggle I pray for you passion for the word may it consume you may it consume you may it consume you may it consume you in the name of Jesus Christ the grace for signs and wonders bringing evidence to your Christian work you are a man of God here receive it it takes power to give witness to the resurrection I pray for you fearful evidences of God's grace striking testimonies begin to experience it in your life begin to experience it in ministry begin to experience it in your life extraordinary wonders may it be rushed through your hands in the name of Jesus Christ the grace that draws men the gift of men please everybody receive this one the gift of men so that you don't struggle for nothing there has to be a helper somewhere ordained by God anywhere at all where there is a need I tell you there is a helper I pray from today you will not struggle to find helpers you will not struggle to find helpers help us in ministry help us in business help us in your family you will never be alone to struggle alone again in the name of Jesus may someone be interested in your matter may someone be interested in your rising may someone be interested in your shining may someone be interested in your restoration in the name of Jesus Christ I pray for you the days of speaking alone and not having anybody listen to you because nobody takes your value seriously whether it's ministerial value professional value business value in the name of Jesus I'm praying for you by this grace that comes upon you now everybody who needs what you carry I gravitate them to your destiny I gravitate them to your destiny I gravitate them to your destiny in the name of Jesus the Bible says "Doth not wisdom cry I'm praying for you the error of foolish decisions trouble-making decisions destiny pegging decisions by this impartation of wisdom may you begin to make superior decisions superior decisions decisions one decision that you will make you will leap five years forward five years forward five years forward in the name of Jesus Christ 
I decree and declare favor whether you go out whether you come in whether you are in Nigeria whether you are outside Nigeria may that favor compel men to help you speedily compel men to help you speedily let me pray for your finances in the name that is above all names I'm praying for you may God do something in your life between now and the end of July that will change your finances honestly if you have the faith to believe this may God do something in your life may God raise a man may God bring an idea may God make your proposal pass through by any godly means arise to a new financial status rise beyond the realm of begging rise beyond the realm of borrowing I say it again rise beyond the realm of begging rise beyond the realm of borrowing you will lend to nations in the name of Jesus Christ may my God give you treasures of darkness and the hidden riches of secret places let me pray for you when a season where Satan seems to be cutting the life of people short when people are just about to emerge to a new layer in ministry and destiny they just die like that I'm praying for you in the name of Jesus you shall not die receive it or you shall not die not by sickness not by accident not by witchcraft not by oppression anybody cooking up enchantment against you let it backfire back to them in the name of Jesus Christ I say it again anyone fraternizing with hell that you must die this year their evil returns back to them hallelujah there are people here look at me now I'm not saying going abroad really means anything but there are people there is nothing in your life that has ever gone global not your products not you from your lineage where you come from nobody's head has ever been lifted to a global scale at best you are just recycled here let me push you by prophecy in the name that is above all names whatever has kept you down for the name of Jesus and for being an effective witness rise to a global scale rise to a global scale in ministry rise to a global scale in business rise to a global scale may your products be global may your services be global in the name of Jesus the giants that sit on every mountain and make sure people don't climb up to the mountain once you are at the valley remain there but once you want to climb up to the mountain they say when your father did not climb there your mother did not climb there I pray for someone again in the name of Jesus for the sake of his majesty you will be a record breaker for the sake of his majesty you will be a record breaker I, I release that grace upon you listen God who took me from nowhere and by his mercy took me where I am today I pray for you may God announce your names to kings announce your name to governments announce your name to captains of industry in the name of Jesus Christ everything that fights your influence fights your relevance by this grace it dies here tonight hear me every man of God connected to this grace every true son and daughter in ministry I pray for you for the sake of his majesty rise to a global scale may the nations demand your grace may they honor Jesus in your life I will multiply them they will not be few I will glorify them they will not be small I say it again be multiplied may you experience the glory of God now hear me hear me we're wrapping up 
my apologies for stretching you but you'll be surprised what will happen to you listen can i tell you the truth not everybody has been mandated to help you stop looking for everybody to help you this is not how it works and don't choose the person to help you by yourself you will make a mistake you will choose in the flesh but you need one person i can point strategic people who appeared in my life and brought years and added them to my life i've seen my own may you see your own in the name of jesus christ in the name of jesus christ koinonia go forward go forward go forward go forward advance leap over walls run through a troop in the name of jesus christ by your reception of these manifold graces i'm praying for you results you have not seen from january till july begin to see them from this night results you have not seen from january till now i say to you again begin to see them from this night fearful results in ministry fearful results in business fearful results in family every negative cloud over your head that is driving good things driving good people making you see good as evil and evil as good i decree and declare let that cloud be lifted from off your head every demonic force manipulating your reasoning always making you to get into trouble making bad decisions i cry unto god again in the name of jesus may your mind be under the influence of the spirit of god superior destiny advancing decisions ministry advancing decisions finance multiplying decisions grace multiplying decisions my final prayer for you tonight it is not a sin to be celebrated it is only when your heart is derailed through it some of you nobody has ever clapped to say kai i see the hand of god in your life let me pray for you may my god do something between now and the end of the month that will bring strange celebrations to your life in the name of jesus christ say after me in the name of jesus i am a steward of the manifold grace of god say it again i am a steward i am a recipient of the manifold grace of god i activate the graces by faith they begin to speak in every area of my life in the name of jesus christ ah. here's the technology when a word is spoken or you come in contact with words or information the first thing that happens to you is your imagination is activated imaginations cannot be activated until there are words this is why words are dangerous words are the only instruments that have the power to activate imagery from where we get imaginations Everybody look up. Imagine a yellow orange. Yellow orange. Big yellow orange. Now imagine that someone is cutting that orange with a knife. Are you seeing how whether you like it or not, you are thinking what I'm saying. You are not just hearing it. I'm forcing your mind to move a direction by using the power of information. Now imagine a mother carrying a little baby. Imagine the baby trying to cry. I, 
are you seeing how helpless your mind is provided the only way you can stop that imagination is to stop the information from reaching you but once it is there it has an ability that not even you can control again once it enters it's like a drug it starts to become an artist it paints images about God about life about Satan a little baby never believed that life can be hard till an information came he heard the father or the mother say Kai, this life self this life self and an image began to be created and that image listen it is dangerous because the moment an image is built your emotions are connected to the image the moment your emotions are connected to images creation begins immediately this is how things manifest please I want you to listen you would thank me for what you are learning today when the Bible says guard your heart with all diligence it knows what it's saying that means control the information that enters into your spirit man because out of it that information is not just words that information is not just speakings. That information is a potential for creation that can make or mar you. What Elijah is playing now is not just music. What he's playing now, they are words, they are spiritual information operating at different frequencies and because your tripartite nature was designed to understand this your ears may not know what he's saying but your spirit man knows that is the reason why they can use music to calm people down that is why when music was played a demon left Saul the demon had something that Saul did not hear the ear of Saul was not necessary just allowed the string enter when it gets to the realm of the spirit it will change back to words and the spirit will know what is being said listen to me nations today have gone to war simply because of information whole territories have been annihilated because of information there are people today in hellfire because of information who has believed our reports to that man the arm of the Lord has been made revealed words carry spirits words carry energy and this is not some science nonsense I am telling you you literally can program your climate in less than a minute by the entrance he said the entrance of your word give it light and understanding that means show a confused man scattered in destiny just introduce the word of God to that person and that's it your life will begin to reflect the information that you have I'm saying this because listen to me our generation is very careless over our minds our generation is very careless over the power of words in ministry in life people don't seem to have regard for words words are powerful words produce effects words can make words can destroy words can heal words can cause pain words are powerful and if you understand this words create imaginations and they connect us to those imaginations when Satan wants a cause to remain in your family he does not say cause remain he uses words the word of a priest the word of an elder words that have come from father to grandfather now you believe those words and when you believe those words they create images you are emotionally connected to those images and you are loyal to what you believe that is the strength of the altar 
the altar sits on your emotional connection to those words the day you stop believing those words you are ready for the power of God to smash that thing that's why when the Holy Ghost comes he now tells you are you not aware that there is another information Esther Listen, her man came and requested the king to approve an information. And an information was stamped already. And the death sentence of the people were waiting. They were going about every day. They did not know that they had finished killing them. By information. Even when her man died, they were still in trouble. Because the real enemy was not her man. The real enemy was the information. Esther knew that the death of her man had not yet solved that problem information and so Esther went to the king and said do you know what you have to write another information that can give an upper hand to preserve my people it was at that Esther chapter 6 that the story ends with honor and glory information words that's what they call a prefool many of you do it People have collapsed because of April Fool. Others have died and no opportunity to tell them I'm joking again. Now watch this. You go to an ATM to withdraw money. Remember the ATM does not speak English. You are just using your eyes. Withdraw for me 5,000 and the ATM says cash unavailable. Immediately that report depresses you. You stand there. A machine did not flog you. A machine did not speak your language. It only created an energy. Remember, you are smiling. The joy of the Lord is my strength. Bouncing to the ATM. And suddenly because you punch and it said cash unavailable, you start thinking, this is how my life is. It did not ask you to think that way. While you are laughing, take seriously what I'm saying. Mm -hmm. Satan waits until the information has been connected to your imagery then he comes he will create a system around it sit upon it and your doom becomes almost imminent this is the victory that overcomes what victory the labor in the spirit to protect the information it is real warfare and it produces real victory are you hearing what I'm saying now? There are, there are many of us here that are parents. Why do we prefer, now please, I, I, this is respectful with all my heart, but why will a parent prefer to carry a child to a mission school than an ordinary public school? It may not necessarily just be the standard. The parent wants to keep the child within a sociological sphere that regulates the quality of the information that is in the mind of the child. And to do that because it's not cheap, you will pay for it. That's the reason why a school where there can be people, there's no gate in and out. Anybody can lean on this class and suggest you can pay next to nothing. But there are people who pay millions per term on a child. And you are wondering, it is not only the knowledge they are paying for, they are paying for the atmosphere. Are we together now? When you go to Transcorp, or you go to any of these modern day hotels you buy a cup of coffee and you can pay five thousand stroll 30 meters 10 meters from that place you will get the same coffee hello the same hot water the same everything for less than 500 naira so what did you really pay for because your access to that place can give you an information you can be seated in a lounge when two millionaire businessmen are discussing and you will hear something that can be an advantage you can be there when politicians are talking so you are not only paying for tea you are paying for the energy that you are receiving there Why does Satan fight your coming to Koinonia? Did you hear the wonderful testimony of that, my dear brother? Why does Satan fight tooth and nail? He knows that it is not only the speakings of a man. That more than what you are hearing, there is a spirit. Please hear what I'm saying. Somebody testified that he got an alert. What did the alert do to him? No 
notice he had not verified whether the alert would be reversed as soon as he saw it he just started becoming glad watch this a student stands in front of the board he's coming with his friend to check his result glory be to god i'm happy we'll all be graduates and he stands in front of the board and in two minutes he sees an information three carryovers and that person is there and for the next one week he cannot become himself again because an information came imagine that while he's standing there somebody just comes and says sorry it's a mistake it was not your number watch this. immediately he will change back now watch this look at how you are moving at the frequency of information like people who check admission list and don't see their names and they go back depressed and then they see a text congratulations say for what say you got admission say no you are checking your first name check your son name and you quickly check and that's your name immediately you start to dance the information did not tell you to dance it created an energy that supplied action Are you getting what I'm saying now? That means if words create imaginations that connect us emotionally to it, then we must guard the words and the information that comes to us. Another thing with words is that they compel us to think and act in honor of the persuasions obtained. To think and act. In honor of the persuasions you receive an information that your loved one has gone to be with the Lord that information does something to you that's why you cry that information does something to you that's why you are gloomy and agitated that information does something to you the same way you receive an information somebody just blessed you with a house that information does something to you now listen to me listen to me when you become a master at creating your own spiritual, emotional, and sociological climate, you have become a master indeed. Do you know why I'm saying that? Because for every open door you read, there are many adversaries. And guess how the adversaries act? They operate through words through words you will be promoted to a company as soon as you get there you'll be happy until you hear that there is tribalism in this company the moment you hear it it begins to affect you a believer has the responsibility please hear me in honor of your destiny in honor of the purposes of God you have a responsibility under God to set a guard not just over your mouth but over your mind to control the information unfortunately our world today is full of all kinds of information people have entered divination not knowing because in a bid to search for truth they stumble across Greek and Hebrew words who went to Latin words who went to ancient words who went to magical chants and before you know it they found themselves in all kinds of things I learned this about my life and I learned this from uncommon mentors and when I learned this it I made it a personal responsibility that my life I was going to guard with jealousy because the information that you are connected to ignites creation and sooner or later you will begin to see those information notice I am a doctor this is a patient he's feeling a little bit of pain in his side and then he comes to me and I run a test and I tell him sir you have cancer and based on this cancer I'm not saying doctors are wrong it is at stage four and usually statistics we built a statistics around this information that at this stage of cancer you have between six months to one year to live any other encouragement you give that man is a waste of time the information has entered let me tell you what will begin to happen my child is only nine years 
what am I going to do with my nine year old child? And then the spirit of fear rides upon that information and comes. I hope you know that there are cases that don't reach nine months. Fear is coming. The next thing, the spirit of suicide comes. What good is living? While all of this is happening, watch this. Those possibilities will now be making all of these foundational things look strong and powerful. As though they veto you and walk. They depend on your partnership, your reception of words. Now watch this. He said, young men, the word of God abides in you. That means when that kind of report comes, there should be, if you are a believer, there should be war within your spirit. If there is no war, it's a sign that you are not holding the shield of faith and you are not an overcomer. Because it is expected that it should enter and meet another information. And listen, when the world went to hell, there was war in hell. Are we together now? Satan mimicking, attempting to be the light bearer, the word, and then the word himself, the logos of God, there was war in hell. And he triumphed over them and came out as the firstborn of the gotten. The war happened in the realm of the spirit, but the result was seen in the physical realm. The war always happens in the realm of the spirit. The death happens in the realm of the spirit. The defeat happens in the realm of the spirit. And all we see is the physical manifestation. Satan and Jesus did not come to the earth. And then they came out and said, wow, now we no, 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 no. The battle was won there. The keys were collected. And he came out victorious and said, all hail, all power. Immediately he resurrected, he spoke straight up. There is something you need. Disciples come together. In three days, you had something that changed your mind. Little children, come. Feed my lamb. Tarry in Jerusalem. The Holy Ghost is coming. Information. That's what he left them with. When the angels came, they said, why look up, you know, to the sky? This same Jesus you have seen, he will return. That became the basis of salvation, the death, the burial, the resurrection of Christ. Paul created a theology out of that information. That is where we stand today. He calls it the power of God unto salvation. Please listen to what I tell you. Our children watch cartoons and people get initiated. Why? Because of information. Notice that when these children hear, they start chanting what they are saying. Even if it's part of what they are saying. Whether or not they understand it. And they become emotionally connected to it. And it begins to affect them. I write to you young men because you are strong fathers you know this you are equipped in knowledge but I write to you young men because you are strong I write to you young men because the word of God is abiding in you and because of that abiding word Satan is going to come and when he comes fight what fight the fight of allowing the word of God gain superiority. He said, let God be true and let every man be a liar. This is the warfare of the believer. Karus kabarando shalakatuzia. Rekete barata. I got a report from home. In the name of Jesus. Matos kali brakatuzia. Let the word of God well up within me. I decree and declare there is no death in my family. There is no going down. There is only rising up. The hand of God is upon me. You are fighting the warfare. You are using that faith that the Bible calls is the victory. I give you a guarantee. There is one thing Satan does not have. An indefinite power to survive. It is the keeper of Israel that does not sleep nor slumber. Satan can be weary. But there are many weak believers. We sit down and allow the devil shred our lives into pieces. We sit down and allow the devil to take advantage. Do you know there are people right now who are like, if you can imagine in the realm of the spirit, imagine chains that are a result of several presents that came because of words. 
Hello dearly beloved, thank you for joining us today and also stay up to the end of this video. We believe you were blessed by the preaching from God's servant, Apostle Joshua Selman. I would encourage that you go back on this message you just listened to, go back on them, reflect on them and then pray with them again. And I pray that we, as we do that, it will guide our hearts and direct our spirits. For the words we just listened to also, put them into practice. Don't just watch them after reflecting and then forget about them. Ponder on them, walk with them, pray with them. The chapters in the, uh, in the preaching that was said, pray with them. And like I said, still reflect, put them into action. And I pray that as we do all of this, we'll get positive results in Jesus' name. Amen. For those of us that are just joining us for the first time, welcome on board. We're glad to have you here, to have you here and would like you to be part of us that can be possible by you just clicking on the uh, subscribe button and also on the notification bell so all of the videos that will be posted here on reflector hub tv you'll be notified about them thank you so much see you in the next video and stay blessed